welcome back to my channel it's liz here today's video is going to be about my fitness journey ever since i started youtube which was back in the beginning of april not too long ago it's been six months since i officially started my youtube channel i think i posted a few videos before i officially started but they were just mainly for me um like little vlogs and like random videos that i made so yeah but i officially started six months ago and so much has happened it's crazy and also before we get into the video i want to say thank you so much we have reached 2,000 subscribers oh my god i can't stop smiling right now 2,000 may not seem a lot to some people but it means like the whole world to me i can't believe there's 2,000 people subscribed what that's crazy oh my gosh um but yeah i just want to say thank you so much reading your comments and your feedbacks and your dms um, on Instagram just makes me the happiest person ever like everyone's so loving and supportive like I feel so lucky to have a group of people just supporting each other it's like I don't know why I did but I got so lucky with all of you guys and I just want to say thank you because you make me the happiest person alive and I truly mean that I'm so happy like I want to make this sit down fitness journey video because I do get asked a lot about my fitness journey and I think it'll be very helpful if I just compile all the information that I've shared and just put it into one video so people can refer back to this. I'm just gonna jump right into it. When I first started, which was in the beginning of April, I was around 132 pounds, I'm almost 5'7". During that time, I was still kind of toned, like I had definition, like there's a lot of water retention and I definitely look a lot puffier back then. During that time, I looked like this and I wasn't exactly happy with my body. I was having a really hard time trying to find what worked for me and what didn't. And it was just so difficult in the beginning, to be honest, because I really didn't know what was good for me. So <clears throat> I would try to eat healthy, but I didn't really know what was the right way of eating healthy, even though I've been into like health and fitness for so long, I was still kind of confused on what was healthy for me. So, you know, I would not eat a lot, but then I would snack a lot, which obviously was not good. Like I didn't lose any weight because I was snacking so much. Um, I would eat like, you know, healthy snacks, but those things are still processed food, but I thought I was healthy because, you know, I was eating like healthy snacks all the time and like eating fruits and like controlling my meals, but I wasn't doing the right way. I was restricting myself too much in the beginning and then overeating after a few days because I deprived myself of nutrients. So I was like so hungry all the time. Just overall, you get the gist, I was lost. <laughs> I would snack a lot too with my sister at night, like we'll eat cereal, eat popcorn, we're like watching movies. We're just doing like sister stuff, like just chilling every single night, eating nice snacking, watching like Rick and Morty. That was like around April to May-ish kind of time period I was doing that. So even though I started my fitness channel, I wasn't really eating the right thing. I was working out a lot, but I wasn't eating right. I don't know when like that switch just flipped and I realized what I was doing was still not really healthy and it wasn't making me progress at all. It was at the beginning of May, I guess you can say. I was working out a lot already, but then in the beginning of May, I started to just understand food better because during the month of April, I was experimenting with a lot of different ways of how my body re reacted to food and like what was good for me. So that whole month was just like a period of like experiments and like seeing what was good, what was bad. So yeah, trial and errors guys, trial and error. In the beginning of May, I began to journal my fitness progress. I wrote down a list of things that were working for me and things that weren't working for me and how I can prevent myself from falling into that hole again. I've told myself to never shut myself, to live a balanced life, to you know eat foods that I like, to be mindful of what I'm putting into my body. Oh, and I also watched so many YouTube videos. I watched a lot of scientific ones about weight loss and I also watched a lot of fitness journeys from other fitness gurus. I also read a lot of articles. I just did a lot of research. So that helped me a lot on a more scientific aspect. I understood a lot more. And I think it's really important to do if you are also struggling with your fitness journey, just to research, like take the time to really understand like what is happening and why that's happening. I basically had a visual guide in my journal of what I wanted and I Remember from that date on, I began working really hard to get there, working hard the right way. Working smart, that's what I mean. So during May until now, YouTube was a big motivator for me. I want to look good and 
feel good and put out good content things you create is gonna mirror how you feel on the inside you know so i was very motivated to do well so i can create things that were you know good too i made every workout session count i was very kind to myself during this whole time um, i was very forgiving i allow myself to enjoy the stuff that I like to eat. I was in a really good place in my mind and I was feeling amazing on the inside. And when you feel good on the inside, it's obviously gonna show on the outside. So I was very confident that I was gonna get to where I wanted to go. Everything I did counted toward my goal. Being so motivated helped me a lot to just push my body physically. Hi guys. You have to believe that you're gonna get there. Like, of course it's not gonna be easy. There's no shortcuts to success aka your fitness journey. There's no shortcuts there. I worked out almost every single day for 45 to 60 minutes. Like I said earlier, like I made every workout count. Like you have to be tactical about it. Don't half-ass the workout because you just basically did it for nothing. And for eating wise, I ate really well. Like I never deprived myself of food. For the first time in a long time, I was actually feeding my body with the right nutrients. You could not have it. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, she's your child. Mom is so cute. <laughs> but yeah, also my mom, like she's she was my like number one supporter throughout this whole thing. She was so encouraging. So yeah, love you, mommy. Oh, <laughs> okay. I ate the right amount of food. That's so important. Like I, so happy that I realized that. Like after all these years, oh my god, I was eating really well and for the first time in forever. First time. Yeah, for the first time in forever, I didn't let food control my thoughts. I was very happy and it felt so nice. Oh my gosh. And I didn't feel guilty about eating. Like, it feels so good to say it out loud. Oh my gosh. That was because I started feeding myself the right amount of food. Please do not starve yourself. Do not do that. Oh my god, like, I've learned my lesson and I want to tell you guys to learn from my too. Please do not restrict yourself. It's not going to be the right way to lose weight to reach your fitness goals. Whatever it is, it's not the right way. And the foods I ate were very wholesome. I did not eat processed food that much, to be honest. And also refined sugar. I don't really eat sugar anyway, so it wasn't too bad for me at all actually. Just like here and there, I have a piece of dark chocolate, you know, because I like dark chocolate. So I'm gonna have some. Those two things are like my weight loss rules, I guess you can say. Processed food and sugar are definitely not good for you in general, not even if you're trying to lose weight, but like for your health, it's not good for you. And then I also drink a lot of water, guys. Drink water, like that is key, drink a lot. So yeah, it's, it was going really well from May to August, going super well. My body was changing very, very rapidly. But then I sort of hit a plateau. It's like not changing for a while in August and I was really frustrated again. And I was like, oh man, like I'm not, I'm not working out enough or like am I eating the wrong stuff again? Like what is going on? And I noticed it was just that I needed to up my intensity a little bit more, which I did, but then I also noticed that i was being a little too lenient on myself my mentality was like oh i'm already there like i can just have this today it won't hurt and then it's like oh, tomorrow's like oh i can have this today it won't hurt but i caught myself very quickly and told myself wait like you worked so hard to get here don't backtrack like that's not the point we're not trying to go back to where we were before so that's when i started to do intermittent fasting to control my like wanting to snack you know like because dude i like some snacks man i'm gonna have to admit that like shit <laughs> i like eating okay like everyone we all like eating it's also a lot of self-discipline like, no one's gonna tell you no one's gonna do it for you you have to just do it for yourself so i was like okay just do intermittent fasting so i started doing that in the beginning of august and i do the 12 to 8 feeding window so after that, i don't eat i only drink water and that has helped me a lot too. My body has changed so much. And I also want to clarify that I'm not trying to promote and make you guys do it too. It's very different for everyone. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. And for me, it does work. So try it out if you are interested, but don't feel like you have to do it to lose weight. And for workouts, this whole entire duration from April to now i've been doing the workouts that i basically share on my youtube channel it's the reason why i do share them because 
they help me so much so i just hope they can help others too so yeah those workouts are basically the ones that i do every single day i do however use weights also i add in those things to intensify the workouts a little bit more and you can see my workouts are very really flexible you can do what works for you if it's too easy then you can always add in weights if it's too hard just go on your own pace that's basically wow that rhyme shit dr seuss in this bitch my workouts were pretty much the same throughout they were just becoming more intense as i went on and now in september i am 125 pounds roughly and oh my god why did you do that oh my god he scared the bejesus out of me Whew. i toned up a lot i did not expect this i didn't even realize that i look so different until i went back and saw a video of me from the beginning I was like whoa that's how i look like what this is how i look like now so now we're here so much has changed and there's so much more to go um and so much more to learn i'm very excited for that i want to share some tips that helped me get through this whole entire journey it wasn't easy at first it just felt like nothing was changing i was stuck and i was lost it was so difficult in the beginning to be honest and it still is sometimes because of course you know we, we're pretty hard on ourselves so we can't help but to criticize our bodies even when we really shouldn't and that's something i'm still working on too um, i've gotten a lot better at it but definitely something i'm still working on and also i want to let you guys know that i'm not motivated all the time like dude this, like, there are days where i'm like fuck. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But there are days where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to work out. I just catch myself in those moments and just remind myself like, okay, you can complain and make excuses, but that's not gonna do you any good. I would much rather spend this time to, to work and fix that negative mentality and turn into something that's positive. I just always remind myself how rewarding it feels to get to where you want to be and that no one's going to do it for you, so you have to do it for yourself. Even if it's hard, if you really want it, then you're gonna have to do it and then you'll get it. That's what helped me a lot, just to have an end goal of why I'm doing this. And for me, that is just to feel good and look good all the time. And I'm finally getting there and I'm so happy. It is such a rewarding feeling to finally feel amazing all the time so whatever your end goal is just envision that and plant that into your head and work towards it i hope you guys can find this video helpful and thank you so much again for 2000 subscribers thank you for watching guys i appreciate it so much bye hey <laughs> little shark my it's my little shark I, I found him in the water swimming without a family <laughs> he's like put me the f down lady <laughs> cute i love you guys i forgot what i was saying you little shaggy he's cold that's why he's wearing it you have the ac on so he's always like <sighs> but um he's better now with the shark shark suit right baby yeah okay good boy he's just sitting here you're so cute dude i will actually like just kiss you i mean i can but you're kind of far so i'm not gonna do it right now i'll kiss you later